right weight. One. Another key thing in big bait presentation is actually not just watching the lure itself, is you got to watch the fish and they're going to tell you some stuff on their action following this bait in. No matter if you're throwing a topwater lure on a surface or a subsurface lure, not only watching the bait, what you have to do is you actually have to look behind the bait, below the bait, and to the sides. And what that'll do is it'll tell you first of all position of the fish on this point, where they're coming from, and how they're following the bait. The key is if you throw this bait out and you start bringing it in, through the time you're going to do this, you're going to have more and more follows with big baits. When you, follow, when you watch your bait come into the, uh, your boat, sometimes what happens is the fish get so excited, they key in on this big bait, they target this so much they get tunnel vision, and actually they'll start looking at your boat as some type of backstop, as maybe a dock or a set of rocks or some weeds, and they'll ambush your, your bait right against the boat. So the key is when you throw out, you watch this lure come in, and you have an aggressive bass following it, make sure you follow through all the way to the boat. There's going to be some times, it doesn't happen all the time, but you might get it to happen five, six times a year, where you'll have a fish over 10 pounds come up to the boat, and depending on the type of lure, if you have a build lure, you can actually leave a little more line out. If you have a drop bait type of lure, you're going to have to bring that lure closer to the rod tip and adjust for the depth that fish is underneath your boat. You, you follow through with your lure, you bring it up to the boat, you'll have a bass on it, and what you want to do is that bass stops, he'll stop, he'll shake, he'll get excited, and you want to go down and you want to start doing figure eights right in front of him. And they're so keyed in on it, the bubbles from the rod tip and the line, plus that bait going in circles, that's when you have the time when you have the most fun, is when a big fish hits up the boat. The one key is, when you're doing this, remember, your drag was buttoned down, when the fish hits it, you gotta free spool it so that fish can turn around and swim away a little bit so you don't rip the hooks out of its mouth.